Hello, I'm Matt Guff from TheHouse.com, and this is a 2019 Liptech E-Jack Knife Snowboard. This is an all-mountain, kind of big mountain deck designed by Eric Jackson. This is one of my most favorite graphics from the Liptech line for this season. It's for intermediate to advanced level riders that like riding deeper snow than seeing on corduroy. Does it ride well on corduroy? Of course it does, but because there's a, a directional style shape, the nose is a little bit longer, there's a mild taper in the tail and the stance is set back an inch. Uh, this is more for uh, that rider who likes to dip in the trees, kind of get away from the crowds and of course get away from the lines. This is one deck that rides fast and is a little bit more aggressive than your average board because of the C3 profile shape. Now, you set the EJAC knife kind of on flat snow or on a table, and you'll notice it has pretty much a camber dominant profile shape. But it's a little bit different because it's a hybrid shape with a raised rocker section between the feet. But as you see, the, the overall the arc is actually pretty darn tall. Um, but one thing to note about it, is that the contact points aren't as long or as or the effective edge isn't as long as I thought there was originally going to be for 2019. Uh, overall though, that nose is going to have a nice little gradual sweep. The tail is just a little bit shorter, has a little bit of a, a buck to it. Most people who ride the eject knife tend to ride it kind of more one way. However, you can still ride it this way because the side cut radius and that C3 profile shape are st centered within that one inch setback stance. Now the feel and flex of the eject knife are going to be about a six, a little bit stiffer than your average deck. Again, it's uh, more aggressive, has control, has precision, and of course power because of the original power construction. Um, actually, this one has uh, the horsepower construction. Now, one thing to note about the HP or the horsepower construction, it's a little bit uh, lighter weight and a little bit smoother than what you'll find in the original power construction. Now, it has a 60% Aspen style wood and 40% polonia. Now, there's more polonia making it just a little bit lighter. And those polonia strips are still in the same spot as the original power construction in between the uh, instrument packs and of course the rail. But then they've added in an additional kind of laminate to the deck, basalt fibers on the bottom with the uh, a Biax style glass. Uh, Biax glass is just a little bit more smooth uh, than Triax glass on top, which gives a little bit more lively energy to it. Now, all LibTech decks are made in America by, uh, by everyone who cares about snowboarding. They're made with extra care and extra strength. That's why they're so durable. They have an ultra high molecular weighted style sidewall that pretty much wraps around the whole, uh, the whole deck. And then there's an internal birch sidewall too. Now, surprisingly enough though, LibTech decided to put a TNT base on uh, the E-Jack knife. I thought, they, I thought they'd definitely put a, a cinder base on it for this year. Uh, I guess not, uh, but that's okay because cinder uh, bases and TNT bases still ride fast, but you kind of have to keep your eye on them. Now, a lot of people say that the TNT base is extruded. A lot of people say that it's uh, sintered. LipTech says it's actually kind of a, a bit of both. That's why this board isn't really at a super, super high price point. Now, the, the edges on the deck, of course, feature magnet traction. Serrated knife-like blade edges. There's actually seven serrations, smaller ones on the nose and the tail and they gradually get larger as you get to the center of the board. Now, how does a board ride though? It's quick, it really is quick edge to edge. Now, if I was to kind of choose one board, if I was gonna go to like Whitefish or Baldface, gosh, you know, it'd be a tough choice, but you know, the LibTech uh, E-Jack knife would probably be one on the upper end of the list because I like camber style boards and I like boards that float and this one does and has both. Make sure to check it out at thehouse.com by uh, selecting the link below in the description. Feel free to leave me a comment or a question. Uh, subscribe to the channel there. Check out more vids there and hopefully I'll see you guys on snow. Peace.